freedom, emotional freedom, and financial freedom, so that they can live with total happiness, joy, and freedom without stress, struggle, and sacrifice. Listen to this. Currently, parents pay up to 95 lakh rupees to get mentored by him one on one. So I want each and everybody of you to pay close attention to this man because clients pay up to 95 lakh rupees to learn from Mr. Kushal directly. Next Sunday, Mr. Kushal is doing a special session for the members of Cool Your Life Mastermind. And though he's very busy, he has been some time to talk to you today via this confidence action plan call to help you transform your confidence. Yes, I am. All right. So here's what I want you to write down. If you're taking notes, grab one of these and write this down. Private victory leads to public victory. Private victory leads to public victory. You see, <clears throat> I have spoken to many of you on a phone call before, before I, uh, we, we decided that this is going to be a good fit to start with this program. Um, and many of you have told me that you want to improve your career. Many of you have told me that you want to improve your family life. Many of you have told me that you want to improve the way you communicate with other people. But here is what I want you to remember. Your career is an extension of you. So the more you win privately, the more you win publicly. So on this call, on this confidence action plan call before the Confident Expert Live experience in just few weeks, um, we don't focus on your career, but we focus on you because the key to constant growth and constant transformation is habit. Write this down. The key to constant growth is habit. The key to constant growth is habit. So, and when I say habit, I don't mean just the small habits of waking up early and doing things on time. I'm talking about the habits that make you a champion because there are some habits that separate the ultra performers, the ultra confident speakers from the average confident speakers. So, who here wants to become an ultra confident speaker? Absolutely. So, on this training session today, you're going to be picking up three habits that when you apply and when you integrate <clears throat> and when you make them a part of you, you will see massive amount of constant confidence on a regular basis. You don't have to get into confidence, you will wake up confident every single day of your life. For the rest of your life, whether you live for another 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, it's gonna be awesomely powerful for you. And this will literally transform everything for you. So I want you to write down habit number one, is winners stay hungry winners stay hungry and I'll tell you what it means and how it applies to you here winners stay hungry you see I have studied a lot of people you know when I, when I have a lot of IT professionals project managers bankers CEOs who come to this program the confident expert live experience and after that when they um, you know, when I invite people into an annual program called Rule Your Life Mastermind, which is not for everybody, I don't take everybody into that program. That's a very, very high level um, mentorship with me where I show them how to achieve their total freedom. One of the things I've found is the people who are the highest achievers, they always stay hungry. And by hungry, I don't mean that they are never satisfied. They're always looking for the new edge. Um, one of the things I, I see, um, you know, I studied... Uh, 
you know some of the best magicians in the world some of the best politic politicians in the world some of the best uh, performers in the world and one of the things i found is sachin tendulkar every single time he hit a century before he retired every single time he hit a century he did not go to the party to drink some champagne maybe sometimes he did but next morning every single time he showed up to the net practice and he trained why because he stayed hungry that's why we celebrate him staying hungry but sometimes i'll tell you how it matters to you sometimes i see a lot of people a lot of professionals who uh, you know practice a little bit they give a good presentation and then they get comfortable you know what i mean they get comfortable like oh i'm doing good i'm doing good and one of the one of my mentors craig valentine says akash knows it good is the enemy of great write this down good is the enemy of the great if you're having a good day that's why you're not having a great day if you're having a good life is the reason you're not having a great life and a big mistake i see many many times is when you are not at the peak when i was not at the peak in my life i used to compare myself with other people who are below my level so i want to be here but i'm not here i'm here so instead of thinking about this i think look at the other people they are so down i'm doing good i'm not completely confident but i'm better than these people so i'm doing good good is the enemy of the great all the time so winners always stay hungry that means investing time effort money prayers in your practice every single day not public speaking practice anything that you want to do whether it's fitness whether it's wealth um whether it's your relationships it's doing the things every single day whatever is right can be done daily so uh i want to bring to your attention that this is not the end you know i've been seeing some of your uh, progresses videos that you sent and also the great questions that you sent um and i just want to let you know um that this is not the end this is just the start um some of you you know ali sent me a long email the other day uh about all the great things that he is doing and also how he can improve uh, much more i have also seen some great progresses in the in the rapid results for now in the master of confidence group by some of the other people who are posting their constant growth bharati um prema amazing great job done prakash uh great things done all of you basically but here is what i say to you good job so far i've got good news for you we are just getting started we are just getting we are in just the peak just the tip of the iceberg right now and many times people do not know exactly how to improve further so i want to let you know that when you come to the confident expert live experience in just a few weeks this is not the end this is just the starting point this is a starting point towards something even greater something even grander in all different areas of your life so this is not the end all be all i've got good news this is just the starting for an amazingly private more powerful life that will literally transform everything for you so here's what i want you to write down on under the same point habit number 1 average people get comfortable average people get comfortable real winners stay hungry average people get comfortable real winners stay hungry so even when you're improving average people get comfortable even when you're improving real winners stay hungry and what i mean by hungry is not that you're not happy you are always looking for the next edge See I was an average student in my in my school not average above average never stood you know in the first first 10 guys but I my role number was like 13 24 29 and one of the things I always saw is whenever I got 65% or 75% I was happy but the best students in the class even though they got 97% they just went to the teachers and said 
How do I get 98%? How do I get 99%? Because they always want to improve the next level. Now, I apply the same thing with my life right now. Uh, with my health, with my fitness, with my... With my emotional development, with my relationships, with my business, with my career, with my own confidence, with my own happiness. Instead of getting comfortable, I think, how do I stay hungry and go to the next level? And it reminds me of a story of uh, one of our members called, one of our mastermind members um, called Alok. Um, and you might have heard, some of you have heard his name many times. Um, Alok Srivastava, who works for a company called Red Hat. Um, he's a senior product manager and when Alok first came to me, he was having a lot of stage fear, just like you. He had some of the, he was afraid of making mistakes in presentations in front of people, just like you. He did not know how to make a confident presentation. He was really not very, very great as a speaker and because of that, it was impacting his happiness. Because of that, it was impacting his professional life. He was not completely satisfied with what was happening. And because of that, he was also not getting the right amount of recognition from other people. So he reached out to us, he, I, I started working with him. And he started making the breakthroughs because he was taking action. And he started making the breakthroughs in his confidence. He started making breakthroughs in his connection. He started making breakthroughs in his connection. And I still remember that moment when he, um, during the live experience in Bangalore, he came to the corner of the room and he said, Vishal, can I speak to you for a minute? Uh, I said, sure. What's happening? And he said, uh, I've been improving a lot, you know this and that, I'm improving my confidence, I feel so happy, I'm doing, taking the right action. Um, but Vishal, I, can I ask you something? I said, sure. He said, can I join your rule your life for mine? I, I said, no, uh, that's not for everybody, Alok. He said, I know, but, but can I share something with you? I said, sure. He said, Vishal, it's been a long time since I spent time with my family, a quality time. He said, I'm not spending enough time with my son, uh, who, who's two and a half year old. Not spending enough time for myself. I'm not making a big enough impact. And Alok said, Vishal, I feel I'm not being my best. I've improved my public speaking a lot. But I wonder if I can go to the next level with my confidence with my connection, with my, with my happiness. I want to help more people, Vishal, but currently I'm so stressed. I don't have time. I have so much more work than my time. I'm not able to do this. And, and we had some conversations back and forth, and he was one of the best, uh, you know, improvers improve you know he made one of the best improvements in the program and later on i did invite him to be a part of the program the the rule your life mastermind which is not for everybody and when he initially enrolled for the vip level program in the rule your life mastermind investing 24 lakhs rupees into himself was a big stretch for him because but he did not know the potential that it could have for him he was not ready for it so we have something called a rapid results group inside Rule Your Life Mastermind where we um, you know, hold each other accountable every single day. Um, and just a few days back, he sent me a message saying, um, not only he has had a promotion recently, not only he's spending more time with his family, but for the first time, listen to this, it's gonna feel so powerful to you and it's so inspiring to me. And I'm so proud of Alok for this. For the first time in his entire life, he's paid three months of school fees for a child of a relative who are going through a tough financial time. And the moment I saw that message, I was like, that is awesome. That is awesome. Not only now he's taking care of his family, he's actually going out and helping other people, other families. 
because now he has improved. First of all, he has got promotions. He's making more money because of what he learned in the Rulio Life Mastermind. But more importantly, now he has an abundant mindset. He understands the more you give, the more you live. So let me ask you a question. Not everybody has to raise their hands. But be honest. Do you have a desire, uh, an itch inside your heart to help other people improve their lives with your story and with your life? That's why you remind me of our Lord. Because he was in a similar situation just like this. But he stayed hungry. You know, even if he improved his public speaking a lot, he didn't say, I'm going to be just fine right now. I need to apply. He said, I want to go for the next level. Just like Sachin Tendulkar. So that's habit number one. Write this down. Habit number two is stay with eagles. E-A-G-L-E-S. Eagles. Stay with eagles. And here's what I mean. Um, if you look at how everything is doing right now in your life, and I'm going to tell you something that, that is going to be really, really uh, a little strange, but your habits, your impact, your confidence, your income is the average of the five people that you hang out with the most. Always. Take the income of the five people that you hang out with. Now, don't take your children. I know you hang out with them and they don't make any money anyway. So, take out, take out the people who you hang out with, your friends with, take their income level, for example, in your mind, add it up, divide by five, that's pretty close to your income. Pretty close to your income. Same with your confidence. Look at the people's confidence around you that you hang out with the most. Add it up, divide by five. It's kind of like your top. You always become who you hang out with. I often tell people, if you hang out with five smokers, you will be the sixth one. If you hang out with five amazing people with great habits, you will be the sixth one. Always. Because the habits get... So you want to stay with <coughs> achievers and eagles. People who learn, teach you how to expand yourself so let me unmute let me ask a question to somebody let me ask a question to Muhammad Ali all right Muhammad Ali I just unmuted you so here's a question if I take a small packet of milk you know this Nandini milk or whatever um, tetra pack if I put it uh, let's say just on this table how many days will it stay in a good condition before it spoils Ali what do you think Right, did you Google? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, two days, right. Two days, correct. Now, if I take the same milk, Ali, instead of putting it in the shelf, if I put it in a refrigerator, deep fridge, how many days will it stay in a good condition now before it spoils? Correct. Maybe less or more, but more than two days for sure. Right, mom? Yeah. And here's the thing, the milk did not change. Same milk. But the environment changed. So how long you stay well, it doesn't depend on who you are. It depends on the environment in which you stay. The fridge or the general outside temperature. When you stay in the fridge, you stay for amazingly powerful manner for a long time. So here is my question. When was the last time you audited your inner circle. When was the last time you started thinking, you know man, I needed some better friends. The friends I have are amazing. I love them. But I, now I need to hang out with people who have more success. Who here believes, by a raise of hand, that if you hang out with better people, your life will be better? Absolutely. Stay with eagles. And this is exactly what Vinod did, one of our mastermind members. Um, he works for a company called IBM. Um, he's more into the big data analytics uh, space. And for the first time, when he came to the public speaking course, he, he improved a lot. And then he said, Vishal, now I have, a, I have a dream. I said, what is that dream? And I'll show a, show a quick message to you. He said, my dream is to help more people improve their speaking uh, 